Hi, one feature that we are asked a lot to implement is a HUD. That is an option in the help setting to search through all the actions from the menu bar. However, it's actually pretty difficult to implement. There is one in Wayland. If you add the app menu widget in Wayland, you can actually have a search through all of the actions of the menu bar. However, we just couldn't do it in the application. So we did one thing that's very similar, but I think even more powerful. That is, it's called the command bar. And to activate it, you can press Control alt i and it will just pop up. And here you can see all of the actions that you can do in the application. The ones that are in the menu bar or in any toolbar and you can search through them. You can see the shortcuts as an example. If I didn't know how to open up the terminal panel, I just can search for terminal and click on it. And just like that, it works. And let me open up an example file. You need to know that Kade actually has a block mode so you can edit all lines at the same time. If I, as an example, want to add on all lines an iPhone, I can just Alt click I and then search for the block mode, click on it and then select all of those spaces and add the hyphen, which is super cool. And then again, search for block mode to turn it off. Just like that. I can also see that it's Control Shift B if I didn't remember. And it's very cool on this simple-ish application as I can see all of the shortcuts, all of the possible actions, but it's even more cool to see it on slightly more complex applications like Ocular can be. So if we open up an example PDF, I'll just bring up the last fun fiction I wrote and let's say I want to annotate this file. I just can control alt I and I can see all of the actions that we have. I just can search for annotation and I will be able to know how to annotate a file just like that. There are also to the top recent files, so that's covered as well and it's literally everything. If you didn't know you could do something, then you can just scroll through the list and learn all about the application that you're using. As you can see, this is an example of a recent file that will open up in a new window. And this is very cool for an application for like Ocular, but it's even better when you use a super complex application more than complex, it's professional. So let's open up a recent file and we can see that it works here as well. So control alt I and we can just see everything that you can do with Kidding Live, which is lots of stuff as it is very professional. You've got all of the options, the effects, stuff like that. As an example, I searched for grayscale, but I actually forgot that I managed to pick one of the few which are actually not in the list, so dump me, but pretty much everything is there. Grayscale is actually an effect, so that's why it's not in the list. But you've got all the options, and as, as an example, we can see that in order to play the video, we just have to click space, which is something that many people do not know about, so now you do. And you can also pose using K, and if we look a bit to the bottom, we can also see that there are rewind possibilities, which I actually didn't know about just by pressing J. And like that, I just learned a new feature of Kidding Live, which I think is super cool. I really need to thank this new feature for helping me understand the application that I'm using because in just one keyboard shortcut, which is the same for all application because it's very consistent, Control alt i I can see, scroll through all of the options that this application gives me. I think it's super foul, powerful, sorry, and I think you will all love it as soon as it comes out. The merch request for Kate is landed already whereas the one that brings it to all application is not landed yet but seems to be in a very good position so hopefully you will all get this soon because i love it <laughs>